Hello everyone, my name is Mallory and I'm here with All About Cats. In this week's video, we're going to be taking a look at my top recommendations for the best litter boxes you can buy in 2021. Before we jump into the reviews, I want to give a little bit of background. Um, those of you who have been following the channel for a while will know that last year we published a review of the top 12 best litter boxes on the market. And since then, I've gotten a lot more experience with litter boxes. In fact, over the course of the last year, I've tried 25 different litter boxes from a variety of categories. And that experience has really helped me to refine my views on what makes a good litter box and which litter boxes are going to be the best. I've subjected these litter boxes to quite a bit of testing. So I've tried them out in my home with my own cats. I've monitored how my cats responded to these litter boxes to evaluate how cat friendly each of them is. And I've tested them out with the same type of litter. So I've tested all of them out with Arm & Hammer's slide litter to evaluate how easy each of these litter boxes is to clean. I've looked at scatter, uh, evaluating how well each of these litter boxes contains litter. I also took these litter boxes outside and gave them a deep cleaning in order to evaluate how easy it's going to be to really scrub all of these litter boxes uh, when the need arises. And after reading hundreds of customer reviews and trying out these 25 different litter boxes, I've narrowed my list down to these top 10 litter boxes, and I'm going to be telling you all the details about each of them in this video. So with that introduction out of the way, let's jump into the reviews of my top 10 recommendations. As always, if you want to jump to a particular product and learn more about it, you can use that video navigation to jump to anything that interests you. Let's start things off with my number one recommendation for the overall best litter box you can buy, which is the iPremio Extra Large Stainless Steel Litter Box. Now, I was initially a bit resistant to the idea of a stainless steel litter box. I had concerns about it being uncomfortable under my cat's paws. But what I found is that this type of litter box is more durable than a plastic litter box and it tends to collect less odor than a plastic litter box and it tends to be easier to clean. So to summarize, in terms of construction quality, I would give this litter box a 4.8 out of 5. It really stands out from the majority of plastic litter boxes and is a long lasting litter box that you're going to be able to use uh, for years into the future. In terms of ease of cleaning, I'm going to give it a 4.5 out of 5. This litter box is pretty easy to clean. It doesn't have a ton of sticking. There's still a little bit of sticking, um, more or less depending on how, what type of litter you're using. But I think that where it really stands out is when you look at waste and litter accumulation over time and you see how easy it is to deep clean. In terms of scatter control, I'm going to give it a 4 out of five star rating. There's really nothing special about the way that this litter box controls scatter, but it is a relatively large litter box, which is going to help to reduce scatter because your cat's going to have more room to dig. In terms of cat friendliness, I'm going to give it a 4.8 out of five. Um, my cats love using this litter box. I, again, have been using it for a couple of years and it's certainly one of their favorites. They continually go to it even when they have a lot of other options in the same room. So overall, that adds up to a 4.5 out of five star rating. This litter box costs $44.95, so yes, a little bit more expensive than your typical litter box, certainly a lot more expensive than what I was used to before I purchased this one, um, but I would say that it is well worth the money um, because it is such a good long-lasting litter box. Now, my next recommendation, fortunately, costs about half the price of the uh, iPremio stainless steel litter box listed as our top pick. It is Cadet's cat litter pan. So what I like about this litter box is that it has a pretty simple, again, open design, but it is intended to control litter scatter and it does a good job of really containing the litter uh, so that it's not spraying all over your litter mat or the floor surrounding the litter box. So it has this kind of incline design, so it's higher at the back and lower at the front. That's going to help to prevent any waste from spraying over the back when your cat uses the litter box. And it also has this little lip. 
and that lip is also going to help to contain litter. So in terms of construction quality, I would give this litter box a 4.2 out of 5 star rating. In terms of ease of cleaning, I would give this litter box a 4.8 out of 5. Um, it is a pretty basic open litter box. You're just going to have to stick your scoop in there and clean it out. Uh, I found that there wasn't a ton of sticking. It has a nice, pretty smooth interior without any cracks or crevices that are going to lead to sticking. But what does set it apart from other open litter boxes is that it has this little extended area on the lip where you can uh, fold over your trash bag and make it easier to put your clumps and other waste into that trash bag. So that's a nice addition that you aren't seeing in a lot of other litter boxes. When it comes to scatter control, I would give this litter box a 4.5 out of 5 star rating. Again, this litter box tends to excel in scatter control. It's not completely perfect, uh, but it does a pretty good job of keeping that litter contained. In terms of cat friendliness, I'm going to give it a 4.5 out of 5 star rating. My cats took to it readily, and based on customer reviews, most cats seem to feel pretty comfortable with this litter box. So overall, just like our top recommendation, this one's going to get a 5.5 out of 5 star rating. If you're looking for something a bit more budget friendly, I would recommend Frisco's High Sided Litter Box. I've used this litter box on and off over the last year and I'm really happy with it. I would give this litter box a four out of five star rating in terms of construction quality. The plastic doesn't feel quite as robust as that of some of the other litter boxes I'm reviewing here, but it still seems to be quite good. In terms of ease of cleaning, I would give it a 4.5 out of five star rating. Um, again, this litter box doesn't tend to have a lot of sticky there aren't any crevices where litter is going to get jammed. Overall, it's a pretty simple experience. As I mentioned earlier, scatter control is good with this litter box. I would give it a 4.5 out of 5 star rating. And in terms of cat friendliness, I'm going to give it a 4.8 out of 5 star rating. This litter box is really cat friendly. It has the largest litter bed of any of the boxes that I'm reviewing here, and it has Again, plenty of room for your cat to move around in, and with that open design, most cats are going to feel really comfortable going into this litter box. Overall, I would give it a 4.45 out of five star rating. It's a pretty good litter box. Again, you can get smaller versions of this litter box for a little bit cheaper if you don't want to spend over $15, um, but the jumbo size is going to cost $16.75. Now, if on the other hand, you are willing to spend a bit more for your litter box and you're prioritizing uh, sleek aesthetics and a litter box that's going to fit well into your home decor scheme, I would recommend the Tuft & Paw Cove Litter Box. So I recently discovered this litter box and I'm pretty impressed with its design. So this litter box is very streamlined in that it manages to include a little broom and dustpan that sits in this cubby at the back of the litter box, as well as a really nice litter scoop that also sits in a little cubby uh, built into the box. You can purchase it with this frame that surrounds the litter box to control scatter. And overall, every aspect of this litter box is very streamlined and sleek. The plastic material of the litter box feels extremely robust. Um, it has a nice matte finish that I'm not seeing in a lot of other litter boxes. And overall, it seems like a very well-made product. Assuming that you're using the uh, scatter control rim, uh, this litter box does a pretty good job of controlling scatter. I noticed a little bit of litter coming out over the lower lip area, um, but it was pretty minimal on par with a lot of other litter boxes on the market. So all things considered, I would give it a 4.65 out of five star rating. It's a pretty good litter box, but again, it's expensive. So this litter box is going to cost $149 in the Tuft & Paw store. You'll also have to pay shipping. So it is a pretty pricey uh, litter box, but considering that you're also getting a litter scoop as well as a little broom and dust pan. It really is a nice all-in-one litter solution um, that could be well worth the money uh, if you have the right situation at home. Again, most of the litter boxes on this list are going to be open litter boxes because this is the type that, in my experience at least, cats tend to like the most. But I know some of you guys are going to be looking for a covered litter box, and in that case, I would recommend Pet Fabet's Covered Litter Box. Now, the reason why I recommend this litter box 
year after year is because it has some advantages over the majority of covered litter boxes on the market. One, it has a clear top, right? So your cat is able to look outside when they're in the box, see if any other cats are coming into the room. That could help them to feel a little bit more secure. And secondly, it doesn't have a door. I don't really care for covered litter boxes that have flaps or doors, as this can, one, lock in smell, and it can also be more difficult for your cat to use. So overall, this is a pretty good covered litter box. You can also remove the cover fairly easily by lifting up these little latches. That's going to make it easy to clean. Um, and you can also use it as an open litter box if you prefer. So to sum things up, I would give this a four out of five star rating in terms of construction quality. In terms of ease of cleaning, I'm going to give it a four out of five star rating. Now in terms of scatter control, I'm going to give it a 4.8 out of five star rating. In terms of cat friendliness, I'll give it a four out of five. My cats have used this litter box on occasion, um, but I can tell that for my larger cat, Wessie, even though this is one of the larger uh, cover litter boxes on the market, it's a little bit cramped for him and in general, I would say that covered litter boxes tend to be a little bit less cat friendly. It really depends on the cat. So overall, I'm going to give this litter box a 4.2 out of five star rating. Now it costs $47.99. Personally, this seems a little bit overpriced to me, but if it suits your needs, it could be worth the money. Now our next recommendation is another type of litter box that is not necessarily my top choice. Um, it is a top entry litter box. So top entry litter boxes can be a good option in certain situations. One is if you have a dog who tends to eat out of the litter box, a top entry litter box can make it a lot more difficult for them to do that. And secondly, a top entry litter box can be a good option if your top priority is not feeling like you have a litter box in your house. I go into a little more depth on this in our Mod Cat Litter Box review, and the Mod Cat Litter Box is indeed our top recommendation in this category. What I like about the Mod Cat Litter Box as opposed to other top entry litter boxes is that it has a liner, which is going to make it easier to get a thorough clean. You can discard the liner, replace it. That's a nice touch, and it overall seems to be very, very well constructed. So in terms of construction quality, I'm going to give it a five out of five star rating. It's just a very well built, well designed litter box. I have thoroughly enjoyed my experience using it. In terms of ease of cleaning, I'm going to give it a four out of five star rating. Top entry litter boxes are never as easy to clean as a typical open litter box but overall I found that this litter box does not have a ton of sticking, uh, even inside of that little liner. Um, and overall, it is quite easy to clean. In terms of scatter control, I'm going to give it a five out of a five star rating. Top entry litter boxes, again, are really good at controlling scatter and this Mod Cat litter box is no exception to that rule. Now, in terms of cat friendliness, I'm going to have to drop it down to a 3.5 out of five star rating. Top entry litter boxes are not for every cat. Now this litter box is a little bit more expensive than your typical box at $79.99 in the Mod Cat store. My next recommendation is going to be a good choice for people who hate cleaning the litter box. So if you're someone who hates pretty much every aspect of cleaning out a litter box from daily scooping to uh, regular deep cleanings of the litter box, then the Kitty Sift Disposable Sifting Litter Box could be a good option. So it addresses the most painful aspects of cleaning out a litter box in a couple of different ways. So for one, it's a sifting litter box. A sifting litter box like this one basically builds the scoop into the litter box, meaning that you never have to scoop, you're just going to lift out one of the trays, shift it around a little bit, dump out the uh, waste and then stack the litter trays again. It's a much quicker process compared to regular scooping and it can be a lot easier and more convenient. Secondly, the Kitty Sift is again a disposable litter box. So this means that after about a month of using it, you're going to be able to just throw it away. So you don't have to deal with uh, waste accumulating on the litter box. 
You don't have to worry about deep cleans. You're just going to chuck this litter box in the trash. So in terms of construction quality, I would give this litter box a 4.5 out of five star rating. It's made from post-consumer recycled cardboard. So you don't have to worry about using plastic. And it also uh, seems to be designed fairly well. Now in terms of ease of cleaning, I would give it a 4.8 out of five star rating. I've used a number of sifting litter boxes over the years and they can be a little bit difficult uh, to use, but I found that the Kitty Sift was uh, consistent uh, and easy to handle. And I also didn't notice a ton of sticking on the sides of the litter box, and it seemed to live up to its promise of about four weeks of performance for one cat. So overall, I would say that the ease of cleaning was definitely a step above uh, both a typical litter box with all the scooping and a lot of the other sifting litter boxes that I've used. Now, in terms of cat friendliness, I'm going to give this litter box a five out of five star rating. And the reason for that is one, it is again, an open litter box, but also it seems to have a texture and perhaps a smell that cats seem to be really drawn to. So as soon as I took the Kitty Sift litter boxes out of their packaging, my cat Wessie hopped onto the table and started rubbing against the litter box and seemed really interested in it. And then when I put it down with the other litter boxes, this was the litter box that he consistently went to even when larger litter boxes were available. There's something about this litter box that my cats really liked and which seems to be quite appealing to a lot of other cats as well. So I would even consider this as a good litter box for uh, cats who are having issues with uh, learning to use the litter box as well as those who have been resistant to the litter box. It seems to be a very, very appealing um, option for a lot of cats. You can buy the size large Kitty Sift litter box for $19.99 and the size jumbo, which is uh, the one that I prefer, is sold for $25.99 in the Kitty Sift store. So if you've been using pine litter as an alternative to clumping products, you'll know that a sifting litter box can make your life a lot easier. And when it comes to sifting litter boxes for pine, it seems that None is more popular than the Arm & Hammer large sifting litter box. This litter box has a very strong reputation for working well with pine litter, and I found that compared to other sifting litter boxes, it does work very effectively with this particular type of litter. In terms of construction quality, I would give this a 4.5 out of 5 star rating. It's a fairly well constructed litter box. Uh, it seems to be durable and relatively well made. In terms of ease of cleaning, I would give it a 4.8 out of 5 star rating, especially if you're pairing it with a pine litter. This is going to be a much quicker cleaning experience compared to typical sifting of a regular litter box. And I found that its sifting system, again, worked a lot more smoothly than many other sifting litter boxes I've used. As for scatter control, I'm going to give it a 3.5 out of 5 star rating. This litter box really doesn't do anything to stop or limit scatter, um, and it's also relatively small. Uh, so scatter is very likely to be an issue with this particular litter box, um, and that's also going to be dependent on which type of litter you use with it. In terms of cat friendliness, I'll give it a four out of five star rating. My cats used it. Um, I can't say it's the most cat friendly on the market, but it's certainly a litter box that most cats are going to feel okay using. So overall, I would give the Arm & Hammer Sifting Litter Box a 4.2 out of five star rating. It's going to be a good option for a certain type of situation. You can use it with clay litter. I think it shines with uh, pine but overall it's just a relatively strong sifting litter box that tends to work well with pine pellet cat litter. Now my next recommendation is my favorite litter box for kittens and senior cats. I would recommend this litter box with its lowered front uh, entryway and raised back for cats who are geriatric or ill and having difficulty entering a typical litter box or for cats who are really, really small and need that type of lowered entryway. So again, breaking things down according to my rating system, I would give it a 4.8 out of 5 in terms of construction quality. It seems to be quite a well-built, well-designed litter box that serves its intended purpose quite well. 
As for ease of cleaning, I would give it a 4.5 out of 5 star rating. It's going to be easy to clean. In terms of scatter control, I'm going to only give it a 2.5 out of 5 star rating. I found that scatter is kind of a constant frustration um, when using this litter box. Uh, I have also noticed that my cats will um, urinate on that front lip. So I can't give it a very high rating in this area. And in terms of cat friendliness, I'll give it a 4.5 out of 5 star rating. This litter box costs $21.99, so it's a moderately priced litter box. My final recommendation is going to be the best automatic litter box. So I've tried out a number of automatic litter boxes over the last year, and the Litter Robot 3 with Connect or the Connect app is the one that I keep coming back to and is the one that I currently use for my cats. So after having tried it and compared it to a lot of other litter boxes, I view it as a versatile and fairly consistent option um, that really outshines the competition. I would give its construction quality a 4.8 out of 5 star rating. It seems to be a very well designed, robust, uh, long lasting litter box. In terms of ease of cleaning, I'll give it a 4.8 out of 5. Having an automatic litter box that actually works uh, really takes a lot of effort out of your daily routine. Of course, you are going to have to take it apart for cleaning and that's going to um, take that ease down a notch. But in the long run, I think that it is going to make your life a bit easier. When it comes to scatter control, I would say that the litter robot does a pretty good job. It's an enclosed litter box uh, with a relatively small opening and then a little litter mat built into the step. Uh, that's going to help to capture any litter that does end up coming out when your cat leaves the litter box. So I would give it a 4.5 out of 5 uh, rating in terms of scatter control. In terms of cat friendliness, it's fairly good, but not great. Uh, I'll give it a 3.5 out of 5 star rating in this area. Personally, I found that only my smaller cat, Forrest, who weighs about 7 pounds, is willing to go into the litter robot. Larger cats are probably going to find it to be too cramped, and the litter bed itself is relatively small. So overall, I wouldn't particularly consider this to be a cat-friendly or highly cat-friendly litter box. So overall, I'll give the Litter Robot 3 a 4.4 out of 5 star rating. Now, the Litter Robot is expensive. Uh, in the Litter Robot store, you can purchase it for $499, just under $500. That's an expensive litter box. But I found after trying a lot of other litter boxes that uh, even compared to other similarly priced litter boxes, the Litter Robot is leagues ahead of the competition. I think that's about it for our review of the top 10 best litter boxes on the market. I hope that you found it helpful. Um, if you're interested in getting more information, you can check out the complete written version of this buyer's guide. There will be a link to that in the description. And when you go there, you'll find a lot more information on the litter box market, the types of litter boxes available, and how to choose a good one, as well as in-depth reviews of the products mentioned here. While you are in the description, you'll also see links to all of the products mentioned in this video. Uh, so you'll be able to click those and check the products out for yourself. As always, I hope that you found this video helpful. If you did, please uh, give it a thumbs up. And if you're interested in more similar buyer's guides, product reviews, and information on all things cats, uh, please go ahead and subscribe to the All About Cats channel and hit the notification bell so you get the news every time we release a new upload. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in next week's video. Bye.